Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Nick here. I hope you guys are super well. Stick around and enjoy all the footage. Two broken planes, damn it. <sighs> it's really annoying. So, within the space of a week, I've smashed up the super easy and now I've broken the prop on my, um, my Phoenix. So I'm gonna have to order a new prop. This is easy enough to fix and this thing is super durable, so it's not really a big deal. I was just being a little bit silly close to the ground. Just looking at, um, any damage, I can't really see any, I mean it looks a little rough around the edges, but this thing is so durable, <sighs> yeah, okay, I mean look, that's pretty good, the fact that this, um, this plastic construction of the fuselage, um, look it's testament to Volantex's choice to use plastic. It is a little bit heavier, um, but yeah, it's a lot more resistant to damage. So I'm just going to unscrew those when I get home, and I'll just have to order a new prop for this beast. Oh man, let's have a look at the rest of the plane. No damage. There's so many bindies in here. So many bindies. The tail is what I was worried about the most. But it's just so strong. This thing is incredibly strong. Any damage to it? Oh, it's a bit greasy for some reason. Damage to the servos? I don't think so. Probably should be taking out the battery. Yeah, it's all good. All good. This thing is rugged as. Let's have a look over. Over here. Nothing. It's all good. Sweet. 
That was a very ugly landing and I'm just disappointed that I can't fly. That's, again today, that's probably the most annoying part about putting a plane down. And the result of both of them has just been being a little bit silly. Well, that's a bit rusted out anyway, so maybe time for a new prop regardless. Oh, man, what bindies all on my knees. So if I had done this in uh, any other plane, any foamy, it would have just, you know, would have had some pretty bad damage to it. I was out, <coughs> I was out flying the Lippish earlier today, as you'll see in this video. Um, and, you know, like I come out and record all my flights, not everything gets uploaded to YouTube um, because it's not really all that eventful, but I want to wear the GoPro just in case something like this does happen and I do catch it. So, um, yeah, so you can see the kind of impact that would cause um, the prop to break. And, um, yeah, not that much of a big deal. These are pretty cheap. I'll just order another one probably on Banggood because they're the cheapest option. Uh, it'll probably take a little while for it to come through and currently I'm down to one plane the Lippish is the only one I have left to fly um, with regard to the super easy you'll see in this video a little bit of tinkering around maybe I'll add a few clips and you can see some stuff I recorded um, I recorded heaps of footage um, because I thought it was going to be a great success story so after I put the super easy down uh, on the field over there on the other side of those trees. So I'm on I'm on a different part of the oval. I'm sort of got a tree line between me and the sports fields and behind me is the ocean. Um, yeah, so when I put the super easy down, it um, basically bent the shaft of the motor. <laughs> That looks bent. I uh, wasn't expecting to uh, nosedive the, uh, the super easy into the dirt. I thought, oh yeah, we'll just motor swap. I considered it and then I thought, well, I've already got the previous um, motor from the EDF, from the Lippish, and I just received two of the ducted fans that I'd ordered ages ago. They're just the housings and the fan blades. And I thought, we'll just put all them together and, you know, I'll just strap it on the back of the um, super easy. So it'll, you know, the whole idea was to the whole idea was to create the super jet. All right, let's try this one out. All right, here she is, the super easy, the super turbo jet with a soy sauce bottle exhaust duct. Exhaust duct, Batman. Ugly as sin, tied up with glorified uh, plant string, this elastic stuff. A motor now that basically just serves as a counterweight, a counterweight to balance out our plane, a bunch of batteries, which probably all going to get changed, but whatevs. So this is it. Let's uh, have a bit of a thrusty, thrusty go. Better not blow the exhaust into Dogbert's face. I might get a bit annoyed. In the end, the motor didn't fit properly to the um, to the new fan and everything that I ordered. So, um, as a result, um, there was a catastrophic failure. And I wish I had a, uh, I wish I had to film that, but hopefully I'll uh, include a little bit of footage of maybe things not going quite right. The sound it only got worse, and uh, when I was out the back testing it, um, it just blew the fan blades to bits. This is what happens when you sort of muck around um, and <laughs> you don't know exactly what you're doing, which is half the fun, I suppose. 
Um, but I'm a, um, a dude with a budget, so I won't be investing any more money into the Super Easy. So that will be the end of it. That was the decision that I came to. I will just get rid of the body. I'll sell it for whatever, whatever I can get for it and, um, and start fresh. I'll just put more money into something new. So you've got that to look forward to on the channel. Um, I've been looking at all kinds of different options, um, including uh, prop planes and other EDF gliders, the whole shebang. Um, so yeah, I'll have to order you know, this prop for the Phoenix. I should probably put it behind me while I'm having a chat to you. Yeah. So there's that. My original 2200s, this is what I was flying. These 2200s was what I was flying uh, the Super Easy on in the beginning at the start of this year. So I only really started uh, at least recording my um, my flights and my battery usage uh, in about April. So I have all of the battery usage from April, all of my batteries, I have it recorded in my journal. So how many flight minutes and hours, there's heaps of hours. I've got, oh my gosh, like 20 hours worth of flights or something on the super easy and when you consider that you know like each flight's anywhere between like 8 and 13 minutes or something that's a lot of flights done the same thing with um the phoenix and i've done the same thing with uh the lipish so everything's recorded and i've got most of those moments so i've got them recorded for posterity as well it's just how things go you know you just you fly you enjoy you damage things you learn you progress and that's it you know like before um before this year i I wasn't flying RC, so that's really exciting. And um, yeah, you just gotta keep moving forward. Um, trying to, I'm contemplating whether I should reveal some of the planes that I've been looking at. Yeah, it's worthwhile, because things always change. Um, I might get, for cheapness, uh, possibly one of the Hobby King jet stars and just repaint it all black or gray and make it look a little bit like an F-16 something like that um, they're pretty cheap and cheerful they run off uh, 2200 forest batteries so that's kind of exciting or instead of just going for another sort of budget route um, uh, just put that money towards one of the jets that I've really wanted um, the new um, what do you call it the Saab Gripen so yeah the uh, the Saab Gripen looks super cool um, it's a pretty expensive plane I think in terms of once I've got batteries because I'm probably going to want more than one of course um, I'd say at least two batteries plus the jet I'm looking close to a thousand dollars which is just insane amount of money um, the other option is the um, the ME262 which is a bit more affordable I think by the time I end up getting the plane um, shipped from, it's probably gonna have to be from RC Castle. Uh, all the other options in Australia, it's gonna cost the same amount, or they're just out of stock anyway. RC Castle have um, pretty good pretty good stock, and I've heard they're very reliable, so not sponsored. So that's the option, that's gonna be around about um, $650 for the plane, plus you know $100 up for each battery, because they run on 6S as well. So you're looking at probably I don't know, seven or eight hundred dollars there. Um, so there's that route. Save up, save up. So I won't be getting anything new for a while if I do that. Or um, I can go the super cheap and cheerful option of getting one of the um, the Hobby King. Um, what are they called? The like the 800 millimeter planes. So the Tempest or the Hurricane. Um, they're the two options I like. I really like the colour scheme and the, the design of the Tempest. They look really cool, stabilised, and they're not just beginner planes. They're a bit intermediate too, so that's kind of exciting. And the batteries are cheap. They're like $10 each. So there's that. But every time I buy something, whether it's a smaller plane or whatever, more batteries for my current gear, which I won't be getting for a while, but that's beside the point. Anything small, it just sort of puts me further and further back from getting one of the bigger jets. Um, so I don't know it's really tough you know like I'd like to hear what your thoughts are and um, even all of the um, you know the thought processes that go behind purchases you know we're not all no one really speaks too much about it but we just we all have a budget and I'm not about to you know spend thousands and thousands of dollars of saved money on things that are essentially playthings um, whether it's a car a boat RC planes or 
camping gear, caravans, whatever, that sort of play stuff. And uh, it's not as much as I do it a lot and it takes up a fair amount of my recreational time and I really enjoy it. Uh, I'm not about to go wasting a lot of money needlessly. So, all right, so I better go back home, um, take the prop off this thing and go and um, order another prop, probably order, maybe I should order two props while I'm doing it. Who knows? Anyway, I'll order that from Banggood and um, yeah, I guess I'll just have to wait for the nice calm weather to fly to Lippish again. So until next time, I hope you guys are really doing really well and do all those fun things like like, comment, of course subscribe if you're new. Chances are you are a new person here. Most people that come to my channel, I think it's like one in 10 are subscribers that are viewing videos. So if you're the other nine, one of the other nine people, you should probably hit the subscribe button. If you've hung around for this long, you're probably gonna like the content. It's just me and Haley hanging out, we do stuff. Um, I fly RC planes, probably just be flying the Lippish roll, which is super exciting, so you'll enjoy that. Um, and uh, yeah, just enjoying life. So, hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you in the next video. Now you can see my eyes. <laughs> All right, catch you later, guys, bye.